Hey there, Nuggets and Flakes. Time for another knife review. This is the Tangram Orion. Got this knife a couple days ago. Maybe I didn't have a lot of expectations for the knife when I got it, but I tell you what, I am in love. Uh, right now, this one for me uh, stands out above the Rat 2. Uh, stands out about above the uh, Kershaw's, all the ones I got, the Oh So Sweet, the Brawler, the Kiro. Uh, just a great, great knife. Um, I'll compare it to the Rat 2 when I get a chance, but let's start off with the knife. G10 handles, uh, ordered off of Amazon. They were looking gray. They're a light brown, and then where they got the little cutouts there, uh, kind of gets into... Um, a sagey kind of a green good pocket clip however because of the milling here uh, it does not slide in and out of the pocket uh, using the clip that great I just took it out of some jeans and it wanted to hang on real good uh, for position pocket clip however I'll probably be taking that off so let's go ahead and see how it opens up the flipper design. I'm loving the blade. Uh, Warncliffe made out of a Kudo 440. Uh, Tangram design or knife. It's a budget. It's a budget lineup of Kaiser. Uh, you can see the Kudo 440. Nice wedge there. Came really sharp, and it is very thin and slicey. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, it's known as the Orion, and there's your maker's mark on that. Kind of a stone wash or bead blast blade. So, <clears throat> I'm going to show you this tip. Uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and close this up. It's got good access to the lock bar. At least it's it's easy to get to. It is running on bearings. Uh, a little bit uh, a little bit sticky right now. When you check out when you look at the centering, which is good, and the tip does come to the end, you can barely see the tip. That's just when I was looking at that, that's unlike any other knife I have. So, um, yeah, it's going to work, but you got to be very careful. This is not the kind of knife to do any prying or, or hard work with that, but it is good uh, for cutting, you know. So, anyways, guys. A little bit of jimping there. Uh, the Dirk Pinkerton uh, jimping on this blade here. It leaves uh, it's not right on the center of the spine. It's off to the side. But it works. Works for me. Uh, ergonomically, kind of got that first finger, finger choil. Got all fing four fingers. F thumbs right on the jimping. I get a good lock up. Yeah, I can see myself being able to use this one uh, as hard as a knife will stand. So just be aware of that tip. All right, guys, give you a little shot of the action a little more. So you can you can play with it. So okay, thanks, guys.